want to um, pressure the government to release not only the children, also the children, but their parents are still kidnapped. There are young people, there are young soldiers, um, people who are innocent who were in this party and now they're kidnapped and we don't know what, if they're dead or alive. Um, we have to have them home as soon as possible. The government uh, hasn't done enough, but I think the, the one who can do more are the Red Cross. Um, and I want to, to tell the Red Cross, you are a, a humanitarian, humanitarian organization. It's your job you, you promised us. And I think you should care, take care of them. I don't think I, I'm sure of that. We need someone to uh, to come in and and rescue the sausages. Uh, check on them. What what is this? Said? Nobody that has returned see, have seen my aunt. I don't know how is she. I don't believe we're pushing hard enough for it to continue happening. There's still a baby in captivity. There's still foreign citizens in captivity, which I think is outrageous and. Yeah, I think they should be pushing far more to bring all of them, including men, elderly men, and all of the children that are in there outside. I would say we need to give anything they would like to, as much gas, as much as electricity, as many prisoners that we have within the country, to bring everybody home, including soldiers, men, and everyone. I don't, I mean, women and children, it's beautiful to see them coming home. We're all extremely relieved to see each and every one of them, but we need all of them back.